In this video, I'm going to show you how you can enroll and finish your e-learning and assessment. So let's start by opening Google. Now, once you are in the home page, you have to search for DGS e-learning. Once you get the search result, open the very first link. Now here you are in the home page of the e-learning portal. Before enrolling for a course, you need to find the correct course ID and required number of hours. When you scroll down, you can see the category of courses here. You have to select the correct category and in the category itself, you can see the courses and the course ID and the required number of hours. So if suppose you are booking for a basic modular course, you need to click on basic modular courses. And then when you scroll down, you can see the course IDs of various courses and the required number of hours. Similarly, in the home maritime app or website, uh, when you select for a course, uh, when you proceed forward in the booking section, when you scroll down, you can see the course ID clearly mentioned. Similarly, in the app also, you can find the course ID while booking the course. So once you have the correct course ID guys, you have to go back to the DGS e-learning portal and click on enroll now. So you will be redirected to the enrollment form page. Here you have to enter your endorse number and date of birth and the course name. Here in the course name section guys, when you open the course name section, here you have to correctly find your course ID. Course ID I have already shown you how you have to find your course ID and the required number of hours. Uh, it is advised to do the e-learning uh, guys from a laptop uh, but uh, some of the mobile devices are supporting this uh, e-learning portal. So once you have selected your course you have to enter the capture and click on verify. Once you click on verify you have to verify your details. Once uh, you can see the details are correct you can click on submit. You will get a notification of enrollment successful. You will get an email as soon as you enroll and then you have to click here at the bottom of the page or you can directly go to the e-learning portal and enter with the username and the password which you have already got in your email. So once you click on sign in, you have to capture an image for verification. So the camera will open, you have to capture your photo and click on verify photo. Once the verification is successful, you will be redirected to your home page of the e-learning where you can see the list of various courses. Now this is the course for which we have just now enrolled. Once you click on the course, you can see and start your e-learning. Right on the top uh, you can see the home button which will help you to go back to the list of courses. You can see the progress bar for the completion of the e-learning. Once it is 100% you may access the assessment by clicking on it and you can click attend. In some cases the progress bar may show 100% if you have access all the topics but you may not be able to attend the assessment if you have not completed the required number of hours. Uh, you may get a notification like this when you click on the assessment. So make sure you have completed the required number of hours as well as all the topics has been covered in order to attend the assessment. You can give the assessment number of times. Uh, so thank you everyone. I hope this video was helpful in providing a clear understanding of the entire process.